Hello everyone. Um, sorry. Hi, uh, my name is Mani. Uh, I'm going to be talking about the work that we did with my uh, collaborator Caroline Sinders, who, uh, for those of you who know her, she is a very highly parallelized individual and is right now doing Harbor Summit, open source Harbor Summit uh, in the West Coast. Uh, so we're going to be talking about this and how um, basically we developed the idea and then talk about what we uh, thought about when uh, essentially executing it. So here we go. Okay, so the entire talk, uh, the entire um, essentially project was about the speculative future of uh, the surveillance and uh, the web and the kind of experience that um, that creates for the users and the kind of cautions that uh, need to sort of like uh, have while navigating that space uh, and essentially what it means um, uh, when you get to cases like this, where uh, you see like uh, personal data essentially being held hostage uh, by you know different entities such as you know uh, you know um, the establishment or essentially uh, different companies, um, and they usually come at it with a tone like different companies are like, hey, we're collecting data to serve you better, and the government is like, hey, we're looking out for you, big brother. So uh, we're sort of like uh, looking at um, looking at how that will look like, and sort of like creating an experience that uh, puts users in a place where they can sort of like experience that. So we spoke to a few lawyers who do this sort of stuff and sort of like brainstormed about, uh, you know, what it would look like uh, to kind of inform the, uh, you know, the process that we had. Uh, and then uh, we started thinking about what it means uh, to, you know, especially uh, kind of uh, experience spatiality in VR and thinking about immersiveness and uh, the fact that it's, you know, believable and are they essentially synonyms or not. Um, so we started thinking about different uh, kind of modes, uh, alternative modes of, um, of presenting that. And then we also thought about uh, how cyberspace is essentially presented. This is a reboot from the 90s, uh, for those of you who remember. Uh, and uh, it was sort of like this strange 3D presentation of like windows and pop-ups and things like that. And we were like, okay, cool, that's not what we're doing. Uh, so we thought about other things. Uh, and so we thought about other modes of representation. Uh, and so we arrived at reconstruction through expansion, uh, which is like one thing you can do. Uh, 19th century, again, uh, the keynote on the first day also uh, pointed out uh, things like this where the French and the Russian troops are clashing. It gives you essentially a scroll, a continuous experience that you can sort of navigate through and, uh, and have a sort of like an immersive quote unquote uh, understanding of the space. Uh, the other mode that we looked at was reconstruction through deconstruction and uh, simultaneity of facades. Um, uh, I've had the privilege to sort of like work very closely with um, an illustrator in a newer adaptation of Shah Nama, which is the Epic of the Persian Kings. Uh, and it gave me uh, this amazing opportunity to look very, very closely to different uh, sort of like representations of simultaneous facades and spaces uh, where you see things like this, where dudes are trying to knock down that door at the same time this is happening up there. And these are not simultaneous, like you're basically moving back and forth in time and space. And then you also see hints like this, where the uh, artist is essentially showing that, hey, I can't actually represent 3D stuff, but and I choose not to. And it also allows you to sort of like snap in and out of two different, completely different modes of continuous space and time. And then uh, we also looked at things like this, they you talking, and then uh, we were at uh, IO this year, and Jenny O'Dell gave a fantastic talk about uh, how she's inspired by the continuity of space, uh, disjointed uh, kind of pictures that come together to create a continuous image. And so these were inspirations. And we started thinking about photography as uh, visual mimicry and a relative truth and how this dynamic can inform immersion. And so we started thinking about the room within which the game starts. Uh, and we, uh, Caroline essentially started like photographing and creating the photo collages and we we're like, okay, how can we uh, bring this into a continuous sort of like experience in, uh, in a 3D space? And so we started prototyping and started uh, making stuff like this, uh, where from certain angles things start looking uh, sort of continuous and from the other angles you're sort of like at an arm's length from what reality, quote unquote, on a 3D space would look like. So you always have this kind of like, you're cognizant of the fact that you're not actually immersed in that space, but at the same time you get the delusion of depth, of continuity, and disjointed uh, uh, images. Okay, so let's go back to the internet. Uh, so this game is on the web and on the web. Uh, so we were thinking about pushing VR and sort of like adding actuators to the cardboard. And this uh, fantastic talk by um, uh, by uh, Ken. Do I have the? Yep. Hi. Yes. Thank you so much. That was amazing. Uh, and so that was really uh, that was really cool. So we started thinking about uh, like how we were going to get with the form factor of the thing. And I was like, okay, cool. Uh, I'm a JavaScript developer, and I'm going to think about uh, how to wire up a you know a gamepad um, to a client and have a server that distributes and pushes messages to all these clients that are essentially your phones that you put on your face. 
And so we came up with this, which is now sitting in the salon. Uh, so we were thinking about, okay, um, what are uh, the tools that we have um, and we can use to essentially create a distributed uh, multiplayer thing. And this is the very first sort of like iteration of that uh, and without having like fancy tools and things like that. And so um, that is uh, what we came up with and the form factor, we went for a very, very DIY sort of like look and feel of uh, super lower barrier of entry. Uh, it's amazing to start building stuff like this on the amazing work that people uh, at, you know, like um, like Mr. Do with like 99.9% .9 of everything that's 3D on the web runs and his fabulous software and people at, uh, you know, Mozilla creating open source libraries to create, you know, web-based things and experiences and things like that for virtual reality. So that was a very, very quick rundown of everything that we've been thinking about and doing in the past uh, few weeks and months uh, making this. Thank you very much.